Welcome to New Game Plus. This is a retro gaming podcast where three guys spend one year playing 52-ish old games, and then we talk about it. My name is Dustin. My name is Kenny. Nolan. And this is our 2023 Christmas cast. I can't believe it already. I think this is one of the things that we've been doing every year since the first year. I think we did Christmas cast from the very beginning. That sounds right. I, I we wouldn't have missed it. Trust me, it's my favorite time of year. Yeah, because it's Christmas time, and it's the, best, time the best way to spread Christmas cheers to talk about gaming all throughout the year, which we are here to do again. <laughs> this is our <laughs> annual Christmas episode, and here instead of talking about a single retro video game, we do somewhat of a retrospective of our year. We look back and we think about all of the good things that happened in the last year of NGP. We take a look at the coming year of ngp we this year for the very first time are going to hand out some awards to some of the games that we played this year oh no and we dominate nolan at christmas games and nolan beats us every single year at a christmas game correct i got this i had i said it for you so that is going to be the format of this special episode and uh nolan does win the game every year so hopefully kenny or i can take him out this year but it does have to do with a recollection of the games we played so hopefully i will be able to take him out this year yeah i'm hopeless (laughs) you didn't study i mean no there was a syllabus i i'm ready yeah, you proud. always are. So yeah. would you help me in welcoming our former editor, friend of the show, and number one on the naughty list, Tom <laughs> Tate! <laughs> hey, welcome, Tom! Yes. Yes. We're so glad that <laughs> you're so here. We haven't seen you since last year. I know. I know. This has been a nice uh, a nice recurring ritual for me, so I appreciate the invite. Uh, Super excited. This past year, Tom, good boy or bad boy? You got coal in the, uh, in the stockings or... Or, or, or the he gets more than one. No, oh man, I've been good. Okay. I've been good, man. I, I yeah, and I played a lot of games this year. I think I played more games this year than any year in, in my life, which is hard to say. Uh, Tom's right? at the at top age, of the but, nice list. What? Yeah. I went, I, Santa I went in, I went into twenty twenty three well. super hot, like ready to go, and I've just been cracking through my backlog. Okay. So, oh, it's been a good. So year. you've been doing backlog primarily because there's a lot of good games that came out this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably sunk like 125 hours in Tears of the Kingdom, so that was definitely, yeah, that that was, you know, I played a few new games, but mostly just pouring through the backlog. Yeah, heck yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah, All right. it's been great. Well, you are here for one reason and one reason only, and it is to bring us a Christmas game to challenge our hearts and our minds about the last 50-ish games that we played over this past year, so the ball's in your court. Yes, I am so excited for this. Uh, We played the uh, exact same game last year. So if you're a repeat listener, you kind of know the format. We're going to play Guess the Game. And we're just looking at the games that you guys have played over the past year. Right. So if you look at the Retro Master list, I mean, what episode are we at now? 400 and... 400 and... What is it? Yeah, 408 was Isolated Warrior. Yeah, so it would be impossible, I think, for us to look at the full scope of game. So let's just look at the past year uh, for sure. Um, So if anyone wants to play along at home and you're not driving, right, if you can safely do so, get in front of uh, the retro master list, right, um, just look at the last, you know, 50 or so game. Uh, That's the list that I'll be pulling from. And I'm going to give everyone uh, a few clues, right? We're going to do one test round. Right, so we'll do a test round. We did this last year. So if you're playing at home, you can kind of get a feel for the game before we actually start it. Right, so each game is going to have four clues. And after each clue, you're going to write down your guess. And it's going to get hard. It's going to get easier and easier. Right, so I'm going to start it like Nintendo hard. You know, so the first question um, yeah. is going to be the hardest question. Right. Uh, so if you get it on the first question, you're, you're golden. Right. And each guess you can change right so if you change your mind you can change right it. and at at the end we'll add up out of four how many times did you guess the right game yeah right and that'll Got be it. the amount of that you get for that round uh we have a, a test round and then five official rounds. okay right and is honesty so, still the best policy 
it, it is okay. yeah so we are we are definitely you know nolan won last year yeah. um and i'm going to uh I, i'm gonna guess that that he was very honest about don't it don't say so yeah like that Dustin. like i that. didn't yeah. write my answers down and lie about them or something no 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 i just uh i mean i think you well, cheat <laughs> <laughs> nolan i trust you more than yeah. dustin does it's hard because I I can try to watch everyone's eyes, but I really have no idea at the end of the day, like what what uh, specific guesses you're actually writing down. Um, also for everyone at home, right? So I'm gonna pull from a lot of the context that was happening around the game at the time, right? So we're gonna look at uh, things like the manual for the game, uh, or oh, perhaps no. the blurbs on the back of the box. Uh, we'll look at reviews that came out during the release uh, era of the game. Uh, so we'll look at what actual critics said about the game. Uh, we'll listen to some commentary uh, from the actual episodes. Uh, so if you can remember all of the episodes, then you might have a leg up there. Uh, and one thing that I didn't do last year that I included this year is actual television commercials oh of goodness. the game wow. themselves. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of audio. Uh, hopefully this will be a ton of fun. Uh, and really just, it's all about context clues, right? Like listening for those clues. Uh, what system was it on? Uh, what what era of uh, magazine issue was it from? You know, uh, I'll, I'll kind of share kind of like what was on the cover of the magazine. So uh, if you're good at really listening for context clues, uh, I think you'll be, you'll be all set. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm nervous I'm because scared. Dustin has looked at like every game manual for every episode. He always has that info and I haven't looked at one. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like, so there's a few uh, listener commentary uh, tracks here. And I feel like Dustin also has a little bit of, of a leg up there as well too. Cause he's the one that physically. Sure. Reads them. Yeah. Uh, and your so brain. I don't, know, I don't know if that like remembers, you know, it. and also like if you played the first play, if you were the one that played the first sure. play, like maybe you have, a little bit of a bias there but uh we'll see yeah we'll see. i also right. feel a little bit more confident this year with the games because yes i played them but often we play the games and then move on but i've come back to these games through creating tier lists uh at, at our oh, yeah. um, anniversary just recently we did a, a full tier list and other other things and so I'm a little bit more familiar with these, but some of the, like the first 10 of the year, though that's a little blurry. First 10, 15. Yeah, same. But let's see. Yeah, and the first the first 10, that's exactly where I picked all the games. Wonderful. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll be good. All right, let's just jump right into the test round. Okay. Um, so again, after each clue, you're going to write down your guess, right? You'll guess the game. And if you don't have a guess, that's fine. You just won't get a point. Sure. Just move. Uh, but we're going to start off with a clip from a commercial uh, for this game. Bring that now. In a world beyond dreams lives a heart without hope. The struggle for freedom is a quest for the truth. Journey begins. Oh, I thought I knew it. So, uh, if you ever want me to, yeah, me too. If you want me to play, if you want me to play a clip again, I'm happy to do that. But I think we should just keep keep rolling. Not one and done. One and we gotta done. suck it up. It. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right, write down your guess, and we'll move on to clue number two. So this was on the back of the box the actual back of the box okay. for this release. Uh, the tagline is the crystal comes back and there is a blurb. There is a blurb from Electronic Gaming Monthly. Without question, Blank is the best looking game in the series in every way. Blank takes the best of the old and mixes it with the best of the new. Number two. Best of the old and mixes it with the best of the new. Locking your answers. Locked. Okay. For number three. You guys good? Yes. Number three. I'm going to play some commentary from this episode. Playing that audio. Clint said, I knew nothing about 
this week, really? beside the fact that people often refer to it as one of the greatest in the series. I can joyfully echo that opinion, even in my first nice. couple of hours of gameplay. The characters and their ver varied opinions and affinities reminds me of so many other favorite RPGs like Xenoblade, Live a Live, and Chrono Trigger. It's goofy, unhinged, and very unafraid to present dark twists. I can't yeah. believe this is running on PS1, and I'm very excited to yeah. see this story through. No one's known it already, and it makes me you mad. You do too, yeah. you freak. You have to. Though. I thought I did. Uh, this is just a test context, round anyways. Please. Yeah, test round. Plenty of context clues there. So hopefully if you're listening at home, uh, that particular one gave it away. If that didn't give it away, clue number four should definitely give it away. So clue number four, this is uh, from GameSpot, a uh, famous outlet. This is a 2000, year 2000 review. Uh, after playing through four discs of Blank, the reason behind Blank's return to the graphical style of old should be very clear. Nostalgia. Nearly every element of Blank seems designed to trigger a nostalgic response in series fan. Plot sequences, characterizations, and environments will evoke warm feelings of deja vu if you played the older games. Dustin, do you want to let us know what, what game we're talking about here? Yes, but I'm not happy. Final Fantasy IX. How many points did Final you get? Final Fantasy IX is, is correct. How many points did you get? 10,000 is crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is crazy that you managed to do that. I uh, I only got <laughs> I I got it on the most recent one. Bull. On the most really? recent, on the final one. Yeah, not the first one, on the on least. The you got one? one point is what he's saying. Uh, that, I I'm know, my reaction stands. You awesome. didn't get it I on... forgot we played it. <laughs> Kenny's actively Ooh. still playing it. Yeah. Kenny, how many points did you get? One. <laughs> oh, I okay. got this. <laughs> I got this in the bag. I thought that one was a toss-up, so I purposely no, tried to make that I'm one glad easier. this was our yeah, test. Because, I'm glad yeah, this okay, was our good, test, good. Nolan. You don't yeah, get any I'm, points. I'm, yeah, no, but you I'm get, better. You get no points, Look, and I'm saving up all my good answers. The commercial yeah. said yeah. Crystal, and me put down Silent Hill. <laughs> Wait, you said what? Silent Hill? For the first that's one, I don't a, remember if that was a That's a really one. bad first answer. And I at least got an RPG. Like, it was clear from the music and all the things. <laughs> oh, and man. then I put Fire Emblem, Sacred Stones, which is all, not a terrible guess in this whole thing, but... Okay. But none I of win this game. Nope, no, 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 Kingdom Hearts, Legend of Mana, game. Final Fantasy IV. All right, we got all the bugs worked okay, out. Okay, so you're RPG. I, Kenny was at least in the in the genre. Hey, yeah, so. I was okay, I was awesome. circling. That was that. a test. Yeah. Okay, let's t let's be for real now. Let let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's get started. So game game number one. Okay, this is also from a magazine review. This is why I love video games so much. So this is from Next Gen Magazine, uh, and instead of just saying issue number. 273 it is life cycle 2 volume 4 issue number one so life they cycle. had a really fantastic yep uh, i don't know what life cycle one of next gen magazine was, but to give you some context on the cover of this issue it is the ultimate xbox review guide the ultimate xbox review guide 26 launch titles rated for xbox okay so the review blank is an original enjoyable game that does a great job of holding your hand as you develop ever more complex strategy in creating something between a classic platformer and a pc real-time strategy game game developer has delivered a fun and quirky experience that may not be on as grand a scale as game developers other titles but it will still be fondly remembered for a long time why did my heart just start beating fast? Is it because Nolan's gloating already? Oh yeah! Nolan, Nolan's Nolan's dancing over here. So uh, if you're not watching the video, he's exuding confidence. Man, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> did you write it down? I wrote it down four times. All right, nice. So you are good to go. All right. Are you guys locked and ready for number two? I yes. hate. I'm just putting a random <laughs> game because I don't know the My answer. Problem. Oh, the I problem. Just picked a random game. The problem with me and Kenny is we yeah. rely on this list, and it's hard oh, to look yes. through this whole thing in the amount of time. I, it, oh, it, yes. it's 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 tough. And again, I'm gonna go from NES right. hard to like as easy as it gets. So, uh, num number two. This comes from the manual of the game. Okay. So this is inside the the booklet that the game came that came with the game. 
Uh, for a long time, I had been working too hard, a tendency of mine, so I decided to take some time off by myself to recuperate. The night before I left, my wife prepared my favorite soup. This soup is a famous dish on my planet, made with three large onions and hundreds of miniature red, yellow, and blue cake. Once I had my fill of this delicious dinner, I climbed into my warm bed and began to think of the leisurely vacation that would start the next morning. I finally fell into a deep, full sleep. Clue number two. Give me a thumbs up when you've locked in your answer. No one's. He's got. Two yeah, I got up. it now, but. But Kenny's uh, no, lost. I'm more confused than I was in before. Write it down. I'll write down something. While you're thinking, I'm going to get started on clue number three, which is a music clip. So we're going to listen to an actual track from this game. Hopefully it'll give you some clues as to the vibe and the console might lead you in the right direction. <laughs> such an iconic sound you know like it's unique to one game on this list i know i know and the the sound palette is unique too mm. like i feel like i could hear that palette and know exactly what console it's from even if it was a different track okay clue number four the final clue for this game are you guys ready 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 shauna said i'm so happy we got the chance to play together i've been entering into the pool for a while now because this game and I have unfinished business. I feel oh. like I never gave the time it deserved. I'm sure there will be folks who don't vibe with but it's really versatile game can appeal to a lot of folks. There's strategies, puzzle and adventure all while being a little cozy. There also isn't a huge learning curve to master and I find it fun to binge play or just pick up and put down. Look. The bleeping out the name of the game was the best decision for the, this year yeah i love the beeps it's so much i fun. love the beeps it's so much fun. all right kenny okay. definitely knows what it is kenny you got your final final vote sure huh not sure he said not no, sure i'm not, not gonna confident? get any points here at all I think he took right. one misdirection that you were evil and did early. Yeah, Tom, it was, and yeah, he it, he got stuck on it. Xbox. Yep. Yeah, that was that was mean of you. This is dirty. All right, for everyone at home, the big reveal. Here we see a wild Pikmin in its natural environment. Yeah, he still doesn't These know. strange creatures yeah, become attached to whoever pulls them from the ground, loyal and obedient. Pikmin work together to fight large predators like this grub dog, even if it means getting eaten. As night falls, the Pikmin return to their nest to rest for another day of hard work. Hang in there, little guys. Pikmin. Only for Nintendo GameCube. Only. Rated E for everyone. I love that. Do you want so, so the game is Doshin the Giant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put that on all the, of them? Or? No. You, you got the console, right? Yeah. Uh, um, just, just to clarify, how many... So is it three, two, and one, or four, three, two, and one? How, what are the, what's the point scheme? I just want to make sure I'm tracking correctly. The number of times you got it correct. The number of times you get it so right. So four is the best. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. So e even if you got Pikmin on your first guess, and then you changed all your other guesses, you would only get one. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, why don't you just share? One, one pointer here. Can I got one, there, one but not until Dust, the last round. Yeah. Dustin nice, got Dustin. it in three. Four. Nice. I put uh, I put Future nice. Cop LAPD for the first one because all I was going off of was the real-time strategy. Yeah. The, I actually yeah. thought about Future Cup LAPD and the the um the note about the developer and sort of yeah, type of game EA sort of fit like, that yeah, description yeah, yeah. as well too. The the Xbox thing made me scroll down because I knew we had a couple Xbox at the front of the right. year, but then that was yeah. a dirty trick. I I threw that in there 
intentional. Yeah. I also so I don't see that game but, as an RTS, and I probably said that on the uh, on the episode, but you know, yeah, it's not the place. To... I, I do I, I I do not either. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely don't see it as the, as a, a puzzle game or an RTS. The music so. actually threw me when you played the music. I should have recognized it right away. Doshin. But uh, no, Dustin was like, oh, it's so iconic. Uh, I thought Pokemon Ranger. It found, sounds very okay. Safari-ish. Oh. Yeah, de definitely. So, it's like, not too quality for a DS, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, I, I missed it. But, like, uh, there, there's yeah. some similar vibe games. All right. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's keep moving because uh, we have more games to get to. So the next game, game number two. Uh, we're going to take another look at a magazine. So this is EGM, Electronic Gaming Monthly. Mm -hmm. This is issue number 90. Uh, and just some clues as to what is on this. So there's a banner on the top of this cover. It says, first mm -hmm. pictures first pictures of N64 disk drive and Zelda 64, which is really interesting. The disk drive actually got released here. Uh, so Zelda 64, not even Ocarina of <laughs> Zelda 64. So we all know it's called that, uh, sure. Electronic Gaming Monthly. Uh, this game got a two scores. It got a 9.0 and a 9.5. And a clip from uh, this review: the physics of this game are incredible, and this game is full of gut wrenching action. The two player mode is a nice touch. The sound and visual effects of the mud and water squirting off the back of your blank are incredible. It's a solid, well designed game. Okay. Nolan, you're confident even though I'm it got a 9 confident. and a 9.5? Does that not seem nine high? That seems high five. if we're thinking the same, but I, <laughs> but no, it doesn't. Be I think I know the answer. Wow. On the first round. Nice. Can he does right, too? I, I, I if you're Coming listening up with the answer listen, right now. If you're listening to this podcast, you need to watch this one, dude, to see Kenny's face. <laughs> it's classic. I love uh, it. Oh my god. Okay. I feel bad for Dan editing this because there's there's going to be all this dead air yeah. of just of just uh, Kenny being. I, 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 th I think I may I think I may have found it. Okay. I okay. I found it. Okay. So, Clue number two. Clue number two uh, is going to be a track from the actual itself. Cool. I'm serious that I almost brought this to our recent question of the week of underrated or slept on. Oh, OSTs. really? <laughs> that would have been a great answer. Oh, okay. If I, we're I, correct <laughs> in what we think this. After, after we reveal the game, I have a fun fact about that song. Okay. So I'll share it after we reveal. You wrote that. But I don't want to give it away now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. As, as, a, as, a, as, a, like, sure. as a as a nine year old prodigy, <laughs> all of the instruments. Oh, nine. We yes. just got clue. That was an clue, clue, clue. clue. All right. Yeah. I think we all got it. But let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going. So, uh, clip number three comes from our friend Super Gamer Guy. This is a very emotional clip. So I'll play that. Uh, Super Gamer Guy said, over a decade after it first released, my dad introduced me to a title that would shape my love for gaming for years to come. Wow. That game. <laughs> I remember spending hours playing casual games of head-to-head -head against my dad, often asking to practice on my own when he didn't have time to play. I'd often watch him try to beat certain levels in as short as a time as he could, including the <laughs> Needless to say, fast forward to 2023, and this one might have aged a little more than I remembered. Somewhat janky controls, constant collisions, and early 3D graphics could lead new players to quickly lose interest. But I think there's still a lot to love here. It may not be the most polished by today's standards, but <laughs> will always be shining on in my heart. It might not be the most polished me. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Either Kenny's putting on yeah. for the drama or he right. might not know what game. He I might not know. I'm, I think I'm the all of the clues from that make me think that I missed it. If he was rocking point. out with us, I uh, yeah, wasn't the right he was song. getting it. He was getting it like, oh, I got I mean, this. No, music is universe. I'm You got uh, it. Don't worry. I don't know if right. I do. Stick with I'm it. I'm gonna stick right. I'm sticking if, with if, my answer. Yeah, stick. 
All right, I was gonna say let's let's just skip the fourth clue, but if, well, if you're not confident, we're, we we got to keep going. No, I, okay. I need a fourth. And for the players apparently. at home that are not driving, yeah, I'm, the peas at H, yeah. I, so this next clip is is from an actual commercial for for the game. So uh, it's 15 seconds. It's quick. It's gonna go by fast. So listen closely. So anyway, I'm playing all right, and I'm riding on this. When I'm hurtling through different terrains, snow, concrete, ocean, jungle. I mean, when you got that kind of power between your legs, you don't know what to expect. Anything could happen. Wow. Anything can happen, Kenny. When you've got that power, between I think he's got your legs. <laughs> that kind of power. All right. Kenny, do you got it? I do. Okay. We are four for four. Do you wow. want me to drop the answer, or are you going to do a big reveal? No, no, you tell me. Okay, uh, the answer is Jet Moto. Nope. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So you went four for four. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So yeah. I would say it's a catch-up, but I think everybody else did that well, too. So. Um, nice. All right, we got Nolan with four. four. Dustin, how'd you do? Four. Nice. Awesome. Y'all need to whiff Very it nice. one of these times. I'm one point so, behind. So, fun them. fact, that track that I played is also in Twisted Metal 2. The same track? Same exact track. Thankfully, we didn't play that game Interesting. <laughs> in this set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would have been a nice, fun curveball yeah. if, if we did play that one. Been but... a 50 50. All right. Okay, nice. Four for four. Hopefully, the next one's a little bit more difficult. Okay. All right. Game number <clears throat> three, clue number one. Kicking things off with another magazine review. This is from Game Pro, issue number 53. Uh, Leonardo the Ninja Turtle is on the cover of this one, uh, battling it out with Shredder. And this review from Manny La Mancha says, Blank's frustrating, and that's good. It's the kind of frustration that dangles victory just out of your reach, urging you, to, urging you on to try again and again and again. That makes for some great gaming. Gaming a la mode 7. Most of Blank's action has a side-scrolling perspective, but the game pulls the console name through a full-out aerobics workout when it shows off some inventive use of Mode 7. It's no snooze fest. Um, Interesting. I think, I think. So, some context clues there. Give me a thumbs up. <sighs> Locked your answer. <sighs> Uh, one second. I'm not Let me confident. Give it, one it doesn't sound scroll. like any of us are, but I'm going to start with this. Um. Nice. Yeah, sure. I'm done. I'm almost done. I'm okay. thinking aggressively. Thinking very, very, very aggressively. And you are done. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm done next year should we have like a, a timer hey that would be good Lo just to, like put the pressure on will. yeah Ooh. put the pressure on oh i like that yeah <laughs> okay uh next clue clue number two this comes from the manual of the game experience revolutionary action with perilous journeys over many strange and other world worldly lands where water spouts stand like towers sands shift like oceans and enemies leap down from trees and rise from molten lava the awesome collection of diabolical bosses can only be defeated by tapping blanks, amazing strength and resources like the Comet Flash and the Fiery Phoenix. You'll battle on land, soar high up into the clouds, swim through underwater caverns, explore bizarre ruins, climb sheer cl clues. Yeah. <sighs> I think I'm good, of... which is exciting because I'll top I'm these not. boys with my PowerPoints. I'm not good. I changed my answer. I'm sticking so, with this one all the way through. We'll see. Yeah, I've made my bet at this point as well, too, I think. Uh, <laughs> okay, I mean, even okay, if nice, I realize nice. I'm wrong, I'm just going to write nice. it Kenny, out. Kenny, your, uh, your, your go-to <laughs> should be that Pokemon Ranger game for all these things. <laughs> just for everything. There's two on this list. That's Anyways. Clue number three. Clue number three is a track from the game, but there's also the sound effects from the actual gameplay. So you might remember those from actually playing. Okay. So I'm going to play that clip. You're 
making clue me number doubt three. myself. Okay. Sticking with it. Okay. Ride or die. Um, okay. Good, good. Okay, clue number four is from a television commercial for this game. Play that. Looking for a good time? A chance to save the world and maybe some random bloodletting? Try your wings at as you fly, swim, climb, and fight through more than 15 levels of diabolical warlords, treacherous terrains, and tricky predicaments. Let you summon the powers of nature from the shifting sand rivers to the cliffs of peril to the final feather ruffling showdown. Sure, it's just a game. Available for Super Nintendo. It's just a game. Super. Oh, what? Oh, no. No, I'm good. I just don't want to. Oh. Restate. We all heard it. That <laughs> had already <laughs> been stated. <laughs> yeah, we, we all do. Well, you forgot. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't, didn't forget nothing. I, will I not thought like you messed up. If y'all have all the points. All right, you guys ready for the reveal? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm gonna play another commercial, and and the only reason why I'm playing this one is because I love it so so much. So I'm gonna play this one, and it will reveal the title of this game. Okay. Sony's most impressive action title to date is ready to soar onto your SNES. It's Sky Blazer. This video store exclusive is available on Super NES format only and is a great mix of side-scrolling action, puzzle-solving, and special powers and tactics. Other features include incredible huge bosses, an overhead map, and a radical soundtrack. Critics are on fire over Sky Blazer. Die Hard Game Fan says... The visuals and special effects on Sky Blazer are incredible. GamePro says it could be the sleeper hit of the season. And Electronic Gaming Monthly calls it simply a blast. We're supporting this powerhouse promotion with a seven-month video game rental window and an exciting video game poster. Ask your distributor for details. Sky Blazer, heart-pounding SNES action from Sony ImageSoft and Columbia TriStar Home Video. We didn't get a poster when we played this game. <laughs> I or a know, seven yeah, month I, rental window. What's up? Does that mean one person can rent it for seven months? I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, that I, that means it's available for seven months to rent, probably. That that feels like like a promotional video that gets sent out to like video stores, right. encouraging them to like pre buy. Yeah, yeah. That's such a nineties artifact, it. right? That, that whole thing. Yeah, that amazing. was amazing. Yeah, so. Sold me. Nice. So Sky Blazer. <sighs> was game number three. Why don't you guys... Dustin, how'd you do on this oh, one? I had all four. Mm -hmm. All four? Okay. No! Four Penny here, too. Four. Oh, three. my gosh. I found it. <laughs> three for Nolan. Okay. All right. Had it from... That first one's very <laughs> difficult. I put Fax and Audi for the first one. Yeah, no Mode yeah. 7 in that one. Yeah. I don't, no, that one was side-scrolling the entire time. The Mode 7 should have been the freaking clue. Yeah. Yeah, I should have left that up. No, I gotta make no. this first. No, harder. it's what game will let us get harder. there. So. Yeah. It's gonna All come right. down to this last question. Is this the last one? There's, I think there are two more rounds. There's two more. Oh, no, two, two more. There's one and one more. Yeah. There's two Which more rounds. Yeah. I have hope. Yeah. All right. So right now, Dustin and Nolan are tied yeah. with 11 points. Kenny, you have nine. So you're still. He in, has none. Still, no, nine. nine. <laughs> none. I wrote down none. 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 <laughs> okay. Up next. We're going to start again with some reviews for this game. So Game Pro, uh, this issue had Shinobi on the cover. The game's battle system is reminiscent of old N64 Zelda games. Besides laying down the law with your blank, you can use MP for magic and summons, as well as ability points to equip new battle moves. There was also another review from Jeff Keighley, uh, who we all know now from the Game Awards, right? But he started off... Uh, as a journalist. This was in Entertainment Weekly. Much less successful, however, is a poorly conceived in-game camera system that often gets stuck behind objects and orients itself in the wrong direction. Time and again, you'll wish that the camera would perform one of those David Fincher shots and fly through obscuring impediments, but it doesn't, and the finicky system ends up being the beast that burdens an otherwise beautiful game. Okay. Shoutouts to uh, Jeff Keighley. Yeah. You know it for sure, Nolan? I uh not for sure. I have a really good guess. Alright, let me know when you're ready for clue number two. I should have paid more attention to the first clue and not the second one, and I did 
didn't. We've only the got second one. Clue. We but even got it was a two. No, I mean he well, read two. Yeah, the first oh, portion. Yeah, two different reviews. I got you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm, hold. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, okay. It's Dig one deep. of two. Lock in. It's one of two. All right. It, it, it's All right. one of like five. For me. It's one of Clue. two. <laughs> okay. Clue number two. Maybe this will give it away. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? Dunk on y'all! Why does that tell you what it is, Nolan? I knew it from the beginning, but, you know, that's like, yeah. that, that's, it. that's it. Clue number two. All right, let me know when you guys are ready for clue number three. Yeah, I'm ready, Tom. I'm changing mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving this one away. I was debating whether or not I was going to share this full, this full blurb from the back of the box on this amazing title, but I'm going to share the full and just give you the answer. I should give you the answer, but we'll see. So the tagline, the tagline for this game on the back of the box, fear locks the light in darkness. Courage, key. And there's a couple of bullets here. And the last bullet is featuring star voice talent, including Haley Joel Osment. Lock in, y'all. You know this. <laughs> if you didn't get it here, you'll definitely get in the fourth. And get your one point. Mm -hmm. Don't be sucks. knocking us one pointers. <laughs> Don't be knocking us, <laughs> us one pointers. One, the one pointer I might community. Have, I might have the only chance to dethrone Nolan on question five here. We'll see. I've got it now, but I'm mad at, at Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's on the nice right. list. Clue number four. You guys ready? Yeah. Track from the game. Best. It's too bad that the soundtrack is the only good thing about that game. Dearly beloved. Wow, shut your mouth. Oh, dearly beloved. It's such a classic. Amazing song. Um So you guys know it. Alpha Centauri. No, <laughs> I <laughs> think I know it, but I'm gonna be real. I'm not 100. Let Kenny certain. say it. All right. Well, I want to hear Kenny's guesses from from. Yeah, start, yeah, yeah. Start great, to, great. Yeah, let's hear. Let's hear Kenny's. I yeah. I ended up just pulling one answer all the way through, so I either it's all or nothing here for me again. Oh wow. Okay. What's the answer? Uh, I came up with Kingdom Hearts. Wow. Nice. Wow. Four for Kenny. <laughs> four Amazing. Eight. Dustin, Dustin, what were no, your Because I'm angry at you. Because oh. you said Shinobi was on the front. That is an old game if we're talking about the original. That's that's the 80s, bro. You you Yeah, but you you've got to know that every single game gets reincarnated and remade in so many different that's ways. That's Shinobi on the Xbox, right? Yeah. And so he no. said Shinobi, and so I Shinobi I go to early. That's that's yep. 80s, right? That's 86, yeah. 87, 88. And so the first yeah. thing I wrote down was Faxanadu. The second thing I wrote down was Castlevania, and then I got Kingdom of Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. So I've got two points. I respect two the Faxanadu guess because the this said something about throwback to. Uh, to N64 Zelda or something? Yes! And I was like, hmm. Yeah. I don't get that, Th that, that part. Yeah, that's I didn't, crazy! That didn't help me, but... That threw me off. The game's battle system is reminiscent of old N64 Zelda games. Not not no, at all. No, <laughs> yeah, the, no. the uh, yeah, Jeff like Keighley not, one is the one that hooked me up. Yeah. And the other thing that threw me off okay, was no, someone don't. said, um, someone said Shinobi. So, all right, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to listen to his clues anymore, yeah. and I'm just going to guess. Yeah, it's just blind guess. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a terrible just strategy. Blind. Yeah. So I this did that is on question blind, one, blind and guess. it did not go well. So this is any not anyone's game. <laughs> it's anyone's game. I mean, Dustin, you have thirteen. Candy, you have thirteen. And Nolan, you have fifteen. It's anyone's game. 
we just got to kneecap Nolan and <laughs> easy. I have to have another round three, and I'll probably tie somebody. All right, let's do this, Danny. Let's do this. All right. All right. Last last game, right? Oh, God, uh, clue number one. Please. This was an interview. This was an interview Ooh. with the game's creator. I know it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shinobi was on the cover. <laughs> Shinobi! <laughs> That is also one of the game's themes. When you become big, there's bad things and good things. I mean, isn't it true that every day we have a lot of feelings and emotions? After we finish building something with blocks, don't we go back and destroy it? As a result, we introduce the concept of destroying. We build it to destroy it, or do we destroy it because we built it? Regardless of these questions, we do not have an answer. That is up to the player to decide. Okay. Everyone looks a little confident. Who? It's gotten quiet because everyone's serious now. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I do not want to talk, honestly. Kenny's really looking through the list. I'm just making sure I didn't like. Yeah. Forget something. Unfortunately, I think we all know it. Unless you're, tr which hold on, I gotta think through this because you're for be sure trolling, trolling us. <sighs> okay, locked in. Yeah, you sure? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I put down Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We didn't even play that. All right, we're going to listen to a clip from this this game. Oh, God. I'm a witness of history. My bone and flesh perished ages ago. I'm not even sure whether I'm alive or dead. We all got it. We so needed something yeah. harder so that Nolan wouldn't wouldn't keep going. I know, I know. Next time I'll 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 ramp it up a little bit. All right, let's finish it up though. Let's finish it up. So yep. the next the next clue, uh, some audio commentary from one of our uh, most consistent listeners. Uh, we had many people write in. Here are a few of their <sighs> thoughts. Garlisle said what? That's what, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that's a first for Garlisle yep. to not go in depth. That's a good commentary there. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> that's a fun moment. One, one of my favorite moments. Yeah, that was one of the best moments of that episode. Okay, and the final clue is a review from IGN. Uh, when you first pick up and play Blank, you'll see that it has a lot of potential. It is similar to SimCity in a few ways. And indeed, when you invest a lot of time into SimCity, you reap the benefit. However, Blank fails to fully deliver on this potential and seems to offer a few surprises, especially for a Nintendo game. It's pretty much the same thing day in, day out. Raise, lower some land, move some trees, and make sure the natives are happy, assuming you're playing the nice way. It lacks variety and is simply, <laughs> simply too repetitive. You expect that certain Nintendo charm to hit you any moment, but it never does. So you're telling me right. I tied with Kenny? <laughs> <sighs> I redeemed did myself everyone get it? I don't know. You might not have. <laughs> did everyone get it in four? Uh, I, yes. yeah, I did. I'm confident I did. Yeah. Okay. I think no, I yeah. think Dustin did too. I think we all did. The answer is Doshi. Yeah. Of course. Got it in four. Yep. yep. Nice. Nice. The big man. The, the big. The big yellow man yellow giant. rising from the ocean. I love that. That, that intro. Um, yeah. So the final tally, we got 17, 17, and Nolan wins again with 19. Well, well, guys. Congratulations. It, was, well, guys. it was closer yeah. this year than it was last Merry year. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Listen. Merry Christmas. He's going to hold on to this for the next 365 days. Yeah. Should have brought a Christmas tree mug. That's all I got to say. <laughs> you're, you're the reigning champ. You're the reigning champ. Well deserved. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks again for the opportunity to come on and, and play some games. Hopefully, uh, everybody listening at home, uh, hopefully you had a chance to kind of relive. Uh, a few of the games that we've played throughout the year as the community. Uh, it's been amazing to follow along each week. And uh, next year, I know, to ratchet up the difficulty a little bit. You guys got a lot of fours. You got so. you got to make them harder for Nolan. No. But easier for me. Easier for no. me somehow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll work out some type of visual assistant. Kenny. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can, like, blink yeah. twice if the answer yeah, is what we discussed twice. beforehand. Blink twice if it's on PS2. Uh, exactly. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll still work win. something out. Whole Thank code. you so much for joining us again, Tom. You're the best friend of the show. We love yeah, you. Tom, Merry Christmas. Yeah, these moments are so fun. Thanks. Always a pleasure. See you guys. For the first time as a part of our Christmas cast, we thought it would be fun to create our own awards. This is not an award show. Keely, don't worry. We're not coming for your job. We Chill, have... Yeah. <laughs> I mean... You I are? might. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll take it over. We have created our own fictitious, unrelated, even to one another's awards for uh, a few different games. In fact, we each brought three. We don't know what those awards are, what games are being awarded. Some games might be awarded twice or thrice for completely opposite reasons. We don't even it happens know. Happens in real life too. Hey, it does. And uh, so we're we're going to take turns, and I'll begin, and it's a nice bridge to a game that we just talked about at the end of the game that we played with Tom Tate. This award is entitled, The Game I Didn't Give NGP Status That I Still Think About Daily, and it goes to <laughs> Doshin the Giant! Dang, you did it? I did not. I don't remember the verdict. I regret I it sure daily. Did. I think about, listen, I don't know if I regret it um, because I still don't know, right? Like, it's such an odd game. But it's so weird. I know that I did not give it my vote for New Game Plus status, and it looks like Kenny did not either. Uh, so right. it, it it is not New Game Plus status. Nolan, you're That's the upsetting. only one that gave that game. And yeah. I bet Kenny and I played it more than you that think week. Think about because, it daily. <laughs> yeah. So, again, the game... You. I didn't give NGP status that I still think about daily. Doshin the Giant. Kenny? Congrats okay. to the developer. Uh, I like it. Uh, I'm going to award the Especially Needed in 2023 award. <laughs> uh, and the reason it's Especially Needed in 2023 is because it lives rent-free in my head. And uh, rents are through the roof these days. Everybody needs something living rent-free in their head. Uh, nominees for, for this title yeah, included nominee. Adventure, Doshin the Giant, Bassin's Black Bass, and Final Fantasy IX. These are all games I surprisingly think about more <laughs> than I ever would have expected to. Uh, and the winner is Adventure. What? Weird little game. I, I'm I with you. No, I almost any time I think about it, and I, I I think about it more than I should. I'm like, man, what a cool little nugget. Yeah. Well, come on, not nugget. Yeah. But I, I mean, it's a nugget of a game. I consider giving an award to adventure, saying the most unexpected adventure goes to adventure. Adventure, which is better than <laughs> the name of your award is needed, especially for needed in 2023. Man, yeah, that's what doesn't make sense to me. It's crazy. That's that, that's crazy. It lives free in my head. No one wants to pay rent these days. That's how his brain it's works. No, no, you can't repeat the rent. joke again. You yeah. can't just repeat it. I mean, I can say it as many times as I want. <laughs> okay. That leads us to our third award of the night. Um, <laughs> this is the Please Make It Make Sense Award. <laughs> the nominees <laughs> are Zombie Revenge, Mean Bean Machine, Wall Street Kid, and the winner... <laughs> Of please make it make sense. Rent a hero number one. <laughs> Just the worst, most confusing game that I think about more than I wish, more than I want to, because yeah. it was just so dumb and it doesn't, bad. It doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, you were mad though from the moment that someone dropped off a superhero costume to your front door. <laughs> Oh, Correct. He, he did the first anyone. play for that. You could already even, be bef even before that. Like, yeah, he the was dad, walking around. And he's the pizza, like, nope. like just everything. Order pizza for everybody, <laughs> son. Like it was the dumbest setup into the even dumber game. <laughs> the first trigger being that you had to find everyone in the house and talk to them before it could continue. I'm I out mean, if that's what y'all yeah. do. I'm done. Well, now I wish I had nominees like y'all did. I guess I don't have I any more after that one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched my fair share of uh, award shows to know that I'm supposed to do that. Um, but let me try. Let me try to give some nominees on the fly. Sure. Okay. My second award is <clears throat> the Kenny Watching Game of the Year. And what I what? mean by that is I watched Kenny play 
uh, uh, this game. Uh, the nominees are Final Fantasy IX, The Land Before Time, Return to the Great Valley, and Dragon Quest II. And the award goes to <laughs> okay. DQ2! <laughs> I watched Kenny for hours. Yeah. I'm not sure if... Did, did you beat it? No. I... No, I it's almost a, I crazy. almost gave the <laughs> I almost crazy. gave a basically Final <laughs> Fantasy VII award yeah. to Dragon Quest II and said it's because it's a game you watched me play that I didn't finish and you're still mad about it, but I didn't. Look, it's literally look, here written down look, as like something to talk about. I, I'm not upset that you don't finish <laughs> games. I'm upset that you get to the final dungeon and yeah. then choose yeah. to not finish it. You spent the time already. Put in one more hour and beat the game. I did, I didn't get to the final dungeon. I you am close. It, I am close to uh, beating Final Fantasy IX now. However, we'll You're see how that turns to. out. You're not going to. He's not, not going to because he messaged us the other day with some BS that we were like, <laughs> "Would he just beat the game, please, for the love of God?" I do. I want to. I want to start it from the top and min max a little no. better. The Kenny watching game of the won't. year, Dragon Quest Two, and I would like to have an annual award for that, Kenny. So make it happen. Oh. Okay, yeah, I I would love that too. I love playing and uh, watching. I love playing have, games. Great. Watching All you right. watch me play. <laughs> watching you watch me play. <laughs> you freak. Okay, um, the, I'm I'm going to give the fallback plan award, uh, because this is the game that I'm most likely to quit my job and try and stream <laughs> full time. Uh. <laughs> Nominees include Bioshock, Mother 3, Dragon Quest 2, Alpha Centauri, and Castlevania. Uh, I had Final Fantasy IX on there, but it made more than one nominee, so I took it off the list as well. The winner is, unsurprisingly, Alpha Centauri. <laughs> That was another one that I almost gave an award for. A game that I spent the most unexpected time on. Because... I, I, that's a stupid you game. Don't, you don't think you like that game, but you love that game <laughs> so much. No, and game. it's my favorite thing. No, but I probably played it for 10 denial. or 12 hours that week. Just next that's turn, ridiculous. next turn, next turn. And it's calling out to you to return no. to it and play some more. It's not. That's really funny because the next award that I would like to award is Thank God I Wasn't There Award. <laughs> And the there are no nominees except for one, and it's Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. So they're <laughs> currently leading the award list for 2023 on the podcast. That's perfect. My final award is called Strange JRPG That Might Only Work For Me. And Ooh. the nominees are Final Fantasy IX, Jet Moto, Faxanadu, okay. and... <laughs> And Dragon Quest 2. And the award goes to... Faxinadu! Yeah. That game was very unexpected. Yeah. It's weird. It's still... It's it's clearly imperfect. And it's there's great, a reason though. why it's not talked about like... I don't know. Some of the early Zeldas or early Final Fantasies. But there's something unique about it. I played it all the way through and I enjoyed it. It was fun. Like, I'm not mad it's not discussed more. I get it. Yeah. But it was a great little gem to play that week. And I get people bouncing off of it, but I bounced mm -hmm. on it. <laughs> okay. Next award for 2023 is the Totally Tubular Award. Uh, nominees are... It's Unicycler. <laughs> Yeah, TMNT3 Radical Moto. Rescue, <laughs> Super Paper Mario, Jet Moto, oh. and Internal Section. Oh. Ugh. And the winner is Internal Section. Oh, I thought it was going to be Uniracers. Or I thought Jet Moto. But also, is that just an actual award? Like, does that not mean anything for you? What do you mean? Well, that's just like... Totally you know, like, tubular. Best JRPG... Coolest game of the year. No. What does that it, mean to you? What is totally to, tubular? It mean made him you? say totally tubular when he played it. No, it was different for all of them. Or, or, or Mario. Yeah, hold on. Is it a pun? Mario, use, Mario uses tubes. Is it a pun? Jet it's Moto or pun. Beach Bros and would say it. It's a pun. The Turtles would 100% say it. And the last game just is that. Yeah. I. It's, it's a pun. And 
you and that's the entire reason that you wanted to give this award yeah that's crazy but uh, <laughs> it's perfectly valid but thank you for bringing it to the table the totally tubular award doesn't go to uniracers it goes to is internal section internal yeah section. no way no way nope. the final award for this christmas cast is the best lawsuit victory award <laughs> which goes to bomberman 64 that oh. was our director's court episode and uh i won that that dispute the litigation the whatever and uh, that was a just retrial. a fun it, it was a re no there's no retrial that was the retrial and it was a lot of fun and i look forward to the next one there will be a new director's court Coming up sometime soon in 2024. Yeah, <laughs> Relatively soon. Stay yep. tuned, stay hey, tuned. if you've got some of your own awards to give out to some of our games this year, drop that into our Discord after this episode airs uh, in our latest episode discussion. Yeah, that'd be we want to see the awards that you give out this year. Honestly, that would be funny. We will all yeah. be LOLing together. If you've got other games to just give pun awards to, then feel free to drop those in there. Kenny, I know you have five, six, seven, eight, or nine, or 10 more. You can drop those into the Discord as well. You say that like it's not a valid use of my time, and it most certainly is. <laughs> my final award of fantasy that I'm going to give for nine is Final Fantasy Nine. It's just not good. No, it's not. Yeah, that was a great joke about puns. As we get ready to wrap up another year with NGP and I guess the world, it is time for us to reflect back on the accomplishments that we as a podcast have achieved this year. I'll begin by simply saying uh, Rocket League is back in the rotation. And so we are thrilled oh, that that we, <laughs> the three of Don't us, say we. are playing Rocket League again. Thank you, guys. No one's thrilled. No. I'm lo I'm loving it. The thrill I is sealed up and at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Kenny and I love the experience. Nolan literally hates it. I mean, actual more than torture. literally. It's yeah. actual torture. He even when we're winning. I know we've said that before. That one was more of a joke. I mean, it's real to me, but it, it's not. <laughs> it's, it doesn't yeah, really. No, it's it's real, real to me. <laughs> it's real to <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, what are some real ones? What are some real accomplishments? Some, some things we accomplished in 2023. Uh, we expanded our ability to play some more difficult styles Ooh. of games accurately this year. Truth. Whether that's playing on Wii and getting the full full motion experience, whether that's playing on uh, Nintendo DS and being able to play on actual hardware. Uh, we don't do it for all the games, but for those games that do have unique hardware interactions that make a difference we've taken that extra step of making sure those are accessible for us to play and that's super fun that is a great achievement and a little teaser for those of you that listen this long we're now working on getting an additional um, peripheral yeah for an upcoming director's episode maybe an unexpected one Ooh, ooh, ooh. This year, we also did our first double feature episode, which I really ooh. loved. And I want to call out here because I want us to do it more. Um, we did an episode with Portal and Kirby Superstar for our anniversary episode, um, which made two listeners days. But it was just fun for all of us to cram that into one episode. And we pulled it off. I was a little skeptical going into it, but it was cool. And those were both patreon pools right it, they were both yeah. weren't they anniversary submissions like oh specifically for that yeah, yeah yeah but more or less right so like sure, from our community exactly people wanted us to play those and so they they get to see us play both i will say uh, uh y'all are doing some of those things so i'll go right in line with that we did our first director's episode or director's court excuse yeah. me our first yeah. director's court and we um, already referenced it but it was where we revisited bomberman 64 and then nolan and i as plaintiff and defendant <laughs> came and uh pitched our case that's the terminology to judge kenny it was ridiculous <laughs> and it was fun and we're going to do it again i also think that with that though we need an actual jury we have the judge we hmm. need a jury and uh, we'll look into okay. what that like my grandma like. no no <laughs> some of our community probably oh yeah yeah, yeah like you yeah, said that makes grandma. sense 
Oh, she she listens to us. Uh, One thing that we had a lot of this year that made for some really fun content was director episodes. A bunch of people jumped on that bandwagon. Those are so fun to celebrate because we get a custom game, because we get to speak to some members of our community directly, which is so fun. And we did more of those this year than I ever would have expected. And I had such a blast meeting new folks and... Um, they're all such a like cool and core sort of like set of members of our community that I really wanted to celebrate that uh, vibe because well, it's been big in 2023. And yeah. every once in a while, the randomizer gives us a game worth playing, but it is often those sure. director episodes that we get to play something that we get some of the real highlight games. Yeah. yeah. Whether it was the recent Left 4 Dead that we got to play with Riff or Super Paper Mario with uh, D.H. Bowser or like, I mean, you know, like there's a lot of really, uh, we played Pokemon Ranger with Brittany. There's a lot of good ones in there that we got yeah. to play. So great. We also came together as we did the year before <laughs> to do our, um, what do we call it? Couch co-op. Couch co-op. But might I say yeah. best ever. Best ever. And one of the reasons why it was the best ever is we did our first out in the wild content, which was the retro game hall competition. And that was really experimental for us. It was a little hard to do, a little uncomfortable, but it was a lot of fun. And I think it's kind of like proof of concept for more, you know, more experimental types of content when we're together, which is such a great opportunity for us and for you guys to kind of like watch the, those live streams and, and stuff. So that was fun. Yeah. Leaning, leaning into that bonus content is always fun. And I'm glad we tried new, new things as well. Like the top 10 controller button live stream, which is still <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> things that we've done. Uh, yeah. And, and then, I think we might need to have another one to clear <laughs> some things up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more keys on the keyboard for kids. We also we did a variety of live streams there. We also did the retro game challenges where each of us brought a challenge yeah. for the other two. That was a lot of fun. That was really fun. <laughs> uh, you can check out all of those videos, by the way, yeah. still on our YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah. D- don't be confused, though, and watch the episode entitled Retro Game Challenge. Because <laughs> yeah. that's a completely <laughs> different thing. That's Dang crazy. It. Uh, <laughs> so uh, funny. Along with that kind of content, we created a little bit uh, additional content throughout the year, not as much as we would like to, but uh, one of the things that we particularly did, Nolan and I did, at the end of last year, after the Christmas yes. cast, uh, at the start of the year, was ranking our the 50-ish games that we played this past year. I'm planning on doing that again. I'm absolutely doing it again. And, and I will probably have my arm twisted and make a decision hey. about how I enjoy things, even though I hate that process. That so, is a mouthful. Yes. That means uh, yes. he's not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. No promises. No, I think we should always do it. Oh, yeah. I think it's a great, great way to, like, cap off a year and reflect to be able to like put things into perspective for me that is really helpful for sure um (laughs) something i threaten to do all the time that i have rarely done but did accomplish this year was go back and revisit an old game i had meant to play and haven't we've talked about it early already but i am still playing final fantasy 9 not done with it and uh, intend to finish it we'll see but uh, I, I talk a Don't. big game all the time, and I talked a big game a couple times this year and dropped the ball on, like, Dragon Quest 2. But uh, we've got some that are still in the hopper. Don't say we'll see. Yeah, yeah but, like, you get to make it. that we'll decision, see. brother. I don't know. The... Okay. I mean, say should know. the Lord tarry, but then believe it <laughs> yeah. in that. I might get, I might get meteored. <laughs> you I, might not even, I might not finish this episode something I mean, tragic like, could happen oh you are making know. it to final fantasy 10 boy we <laughs> just kill know. you i've got one more uh and uh if, if y'all have got any uh, additional but you skipped um, me oh i didn't know we were going in any particular order <laughs> we, we've okay. just been popcorning Go. we've been popcorning uh this year we lost hookshot from our team. I know it doesn't feel like that, but I checked. It was this past year, but we gained Dave as our new graphics guy and he's been an incredible addition to the family and thankfully yeah. now all of the our team their names start with D's. So it's triple D. I know it's great. 
That was my sense. other... It's so much easier to remember. Oh, Dude. please forgive me for skipping you. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you did. We were going in an order. We weren't sticking with DKN through this. But we did until you didn't. As one year closes, another opens. We are saying goodbye to 2023, saying hello to the year 2024. And hello. want to share a few of our goals slash intentions slash resolutions for the new year. I always struggle with this because I feel like everything I come up with, I've said before, which is not a great sign. And so- But it's a good observation. It is a good observation. And if I double dip on things that I'm declaring that we want, it just means I want it twice as hard. But if you triple dip, that's probably at that point give up right yeah Chili's the thing over. is i haven't listened to any of our episodes <laughs> other christmas casts so i gotta remember what i said a year ago that's not gonna actually happen go ahead and i'll tell you that you indeed have said this for the last five years okay perfect um I've got a plan and it's wonderful. We have had an amazing community that sees consistent and really healthy community driven growth. I love that. I would love if we continued to grow as a community this year by word of mouth, by people finding us randomly through SEO and doing the whole catch up on the backlog thing. I love that. But even more than that would be cool if we just exploded in growth from something crazy viral. So I want something unexpected and drama filled to happen to Nolan this year and us to get famous because of it. Me? No. Yeah. We do an episode new. <laughs> we'll do it. I don't know if that's the We've kind discussed of exposure this. we can want. It, can it We've stay family it. friendly? No. 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 <laughs> Not if how bad do you want to go viral, Kenny? That's Not that bad. Okay. Well. Uh, Kenny, you've not said that before. Surprisingly okay, enough, you have I'm, not threatened Nolan's life. Before. Yeah, I'm worried yeah, me. That, that has been my master plan for years. I want something happen to Nolan to get us <laughs> famous. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to specifically be Nolan, but you're the most likely of us to go viral. I don't know what that means, but one of one goal that I I wish upon a shooting star is uh, that we expand our team. And I don't know exactly what this means, but I believe we are at our best when we team up with talented people. And we just mentioned that we brought on Dave in this last year for the graphic design skills and, and everything like that. And there's just, there are other things that we don't know how to do and could use talented people. And I don't know, I think that would be cool to keep growing our team. I think that's great. And along with that, I don't know if this is directly connected or if this is, if, if it's tangentially connected, but mm -hmm. I think having an online presence overhaul would be mm. welcomed for new game plus. Hard We've agree. had the same website for many years now and including a few dead links now that we've taken down some of our yeah. first few episodes. Uh, we have the same logo, great logo. I don't know if we need to change it, but same logo we've been using for many years now. It really is a great logo. Like I don't yeah, actually awesome. don't want to change that. Yeah, but. I don't expect <laughs> us to change that, but. But, but. but our online presence, if we could have it cohesive across the board, if we could have uh, probably a website update, even with that, I've wondered if we lean into our community to have community written content that we post up yeah. on our website. Um, yeah. I, I, I know that written stuff helps with SEO. I, maybe even like from our episodes, little recap, text recaps are written that are reviews yeah. of the game I love from that. our perspective. I don't know. I'm just, I'm brainstorming here, right? But no, like, I, I, think I think that's awesome. Having some kind of overhaul for our online presence would not be a bad thing. Yeah, for sure. Would love that. Elements Reborn. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Don't even no. have that conversation. Elements reborn. <laughs> oh, reborn? Reborn. Okay. Say it again. Okay. It's not the same thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is the thing where we do once a year. It, I, I, I first typed elements meme and then I changed meme to reborn. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Uh, no, I think that um, we change that thing because we don't do it and so but there is there is another episode style that we should do 
and can do. And Dustin, just to pull back the curtain to everybody, Dustin presented uh, some stats to us of like other podcasts and what they do that works. And one of them was they have full on like other episodes available. Yeah. And, you know, maybe that's linked to our Patreon uh, for those of you that want to like hear extra content. And, you know, it's it, similar to like secret episodes, but we make it better and more targeted and focused, I think. We've been talking about this next thing for a little while now. In fact, we said it at the end of last year. Um, but I, I really, really, really think it's time, honestly, to take down, to make unavailable all of our merch, except maybe the one that mm. uh, we recently did with Epic Dom. But, um, yeah. but everything else, take it down, no longer available, and redo our merch and redo, like no longer work with the third party uh, websites yeah. that we've worked with before, maybe even do it ourselves. I don't know, but we really, if we're going to do merch, wearable merch or otherwise, we need to really invest in that at this point. We, we are leaning yeah. on something that we did that was like an easy in from many years ago. It's not where we are now. Yeah. Should I learn to knit? Yeah, you can do that. Re um, related it's not related question. to our merch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, related, related, yeah. related questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> okay, so something I'd love for 2024. Uh, I've we've had uh, amazing director episodes, and I love when we have guests on. We didn't have as many third party guests this year. I know we've called this out before as a thing we aspirationally want to keep doing, but I would love to uh, to have some more guests on the podcast. That's always fun. Uh, so if you're in the community you have an idea of somebody who would be interesting to talk to or a connection with someone in gaming who would enjoy having the exposure of of being on a successful retro gaming podcast give them our deets uh we'd love to to have some conversations with those i've heard the completionist is available recently um really none of y'all know Spoke the jokes there because y'all aren't mother. in tune but people that do will laugh at that um, oh what did you do something bad oh yeah well, i'll tell you about it later. Oh. kenny uh kenny just so you know write this down that is second time in a row on that yeah, one I, I i told you just don't bring it a third before don't bring it a third yeah, no we we can't we gotta <laughs> deliver uh I, I also want to say this. Kenny was actually speaking to our community earlier. I'm circling back around to that. Uh, we've said this one before, but we need to, and, and, and I've, we've got a plan in the works. We need to do more community events. The reason why we have only done a few a year is because they have been entirely dependent on the three of us being there and leading that. Right. No one cares about us. No one's in yep. our Discord because of us. No one's listening to us because of us. I don't know if that one's true, but um, <laughs> and, and, and listen, we'll be around. We need. We'll we'll be at those events. Uh, some of those events, and I, maybe not all three of us. Maybe it'll be two of us or one of us. Whatever. But it doesn't need to hinge on us. The the you know the success or the failure of community driven events don't need to be dependent on the podcast hosts it needs to be dependent on the community and so we've actually pitched it to some of our mods some of our team uh seeing if they would be interested in scheduling those and hosting those i don't yeah. we're probably not going to get it to once a month right away but i think we can do something like that and when we're able to be there we'll we'll make it a, a, an effort to be there but something like that where we're doing a game night doing a trivia night stuff like that yeah. be a lot of fun that was my final goal as well so oh, i stole i stole both your uh your goals yeah, you and and your and uh, you our good. achievements Le less seriously because this is completely outside of our control but as we get more and more modern games it becomes easier uh, i'm hoping the randomizer will give us some good multiplayer games in the rotation this year uh, I had so Left much fun playing fun. Left for Dead yeah. and getting to uh, squad with you guys and, and play some multiplayer. <laughs> that was uh, again, that's outside of our control. Maybe some directors or like a, a you know a episode that you guys can help us influence will lean in that direction. We'll see. We want you to be a part of our community. We've been talking about in this episode, and it's very easy to get plugged in. So after you open all your presents on Christmas. Um, Listen to this and then go to discord.gg slash new game plus. Does this episode literally go up on Christmas Day? It does. It does. Yeah. It? it does. What a gift. That's weird. No one's going to listen to it. <laughs>
What You're a gift welcome. to the world. Stop being with people, your family. People will be listening to us. I wanted to shout out a few listeners, people that are in our community, uh, maybe at a distance, but has have shared on social media, either their Spotify wrapped or whatever, uh, yeah. uh, what other podcast provider that they listen to and shared some of their stats with us as their number one podcast of hey. the year. Won't be able to share all of them because Very that nice. was a lot of you, which is always so cool to see. But yeah, Hi cool. Chu shared an image on Instagram, I believe, uh, and it says, you listened for 13,752 minutes this year. You are a top 1% fan. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's Top Hi Chu, and that's a lot of minutes. Zachary White shared on Twitter, you listened to 12,513 minutes. Top 1% fan fan as Dang. well. A Ringo Harrison. Backloggers. Ringo Harrison. I don't know if uh, it's the one. Uh, top 3% and was uh, Ringo's top podcast of 2023. And only listened for the last three months, so got in a lot Dang. of time there. Wow. Nonstop. Okay. Uh, Epi or EPY in our community shared 16,029 minutes. That's a top 0.5% fan. Oh, my goodness. And like then, impressive. And then one more Nexia dude, 13,752 minutes, top 1% fan. Again, there were so many of you that shared. Top one percent, five percent, ten percent. If we're, hey, if we're number one on your podcast list, then we'll count that as a win. Anything yeah, lower than it. that, don't share it. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Unacceptable. You know. Unacceptable. Hey, we want to say thank you to those of you who not only put so much time into listening to our episodes and churning through the backlog and re-listening to favorite moments and all of the things that you do to uh, keep our podcast at the top of your Spotify wrapped, but to those of you who support us on Patreon as well, uh, our patrons literally are the heartbeat of our community. We are so appreciative of each and every one of you. And so we want to give you a couple of shout outs on this holiday week, uh, double Merry Christmas and a thank you to our producers, Alex, Amarly, and Antonin, Ben, Big Dude, Garlisle, Gimben, Halex, Harold, J. Robert, Jake, Jared, Joey, Jordan, Justin, Kenny's Beard, Clint, Nick, Nat, Corey, Levi, Maxima, Megatroid, Nolan's Old Mustache, Not Enough Dog, Orlando, Working Punch, Pedro, Sajin, Shane, Shauna, Psychomantis, Thomas, Turtle, Unbedavable, and Zion. Uh, of course, we want to say uh, as well, thank you to our director level supporters, Bro Jim, Super Hyper, Siegfried, Miss Muso, Riff, uh, Arlen Yuki and the Kentucky Kid. Um, thank you guys for your over the top support. Uh, we just uh, truly appreciate you. We also want to take uh, a moment to give a special shout out and thank you to our team. We mention these people every episode, but uh, just want to say thanks and Merry Christmas to Dylan, Dave, and Dan for just making quality episodes for us every week and also uh to our mods in discord who um just give us their time and and our community um to just moderate and make sure things are smooth and nice and jolly in discord yeah y'all make us look better than we would otherwise true you can follow us on our social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. All of those links are in the show notes. Make sure you listen to any podcast provider of your choice. Make sure you lis listen directly on any podcast provider of your choice. And make sure you're subscribed so that you're the first to get new NGP episodes. And while you're at it, please leave a kind rating and review. Our video episode was edited by our friend Dylan. Our audio episode was edited and produced by our friend Dan Willett. Join us next week. No, no. I mean, do... But thank you for joining us for this very special Christmas cast episode. Next week, we will be back with our regularly scheduled program. Until then, I'm still blitzing. <laughs> I'm still not fast enough to pivot and give you a reindeer name in the moment. Comet. Cupid Donner. Blitz. You're definitely the seductive one. What is that one called? They don't have a Vixen. Rudolph. Vixen. And this has been New Game Plus. <laughs>